is the issue really about SARS? Or is it bigger than SARS? These are the questions I'm going to be answering on today's segment. Hello everybody, thank you for clicking my channel. My name is Moitinia and I am a visual storyteller. Now, SARS stands for Special Anti-Robbery Squad. Um, it's a special unit within the Nigerian Armed Forces, and it was established in 1984. I wasn't even born when they even started SARS, but who cares about that, right? Now, the purpose of this um, um, police unit, this special police unit, is to promote, is to stop crimes in Nigeria. But they are actually the ones promoting crimes. They are kidnapping, they are robbing, they are um, they are looting, they are going out after you to, um, from age 17 to about 30, um, people who have tattoos, people who have locks on their hair, people who have flashy cars, expensive gadgets, um, they believe these are the criminals. Here is a video of a Nigerian youth explaining um, the country's frustration. First of all, they steal from us, they abuse us, when we fight back, they kill us. This is a country that has not done anything to support the average Nigerian youth in chasing their dream. Multiple taxation. VAT is 7.5 percent. They increased it. We pay stamp duty charge. Increase the price of uh, electricity tariff. Fuel price went up. The hospitals are not working. People are dying because they can't raise two thousand naira to pay hospital bill. Hospital bill of two thousand naira, less than five pounds. The educational system for Nigeria set you back twenty years. You can't compete with your peers on a global scale. And then you are telling me that, oh, we need leaders to represent the protests so that they can negotiate. You are mad. You hear me? You are mad. People campaigned, contested elections. And you are telling me that the people that you are representing, you don't know what they need. That's what people are telling us. They are now all of a sudden, people are getting there. You don't know what they need. I mean, when I go to street, go to Bini Boys now. When I go to Ogbe Boys, we going to work six years as carpenter. They will sell their power land for Sioko. Me they fit track, follow the beer, follow desert. Climb sea, climb boat for sea. Take go Europe. They the traffic girls. When I want to do a bill, when I sell a film tree. Now real life. People pay money to be trafficked out of Nigeria because they're tired of the dead ass system. Yeah, men and women are trafficking themselves because they want to get out of Nigeria. Now, people in the northern part of Nigeria are saying that they support SARS because they don't they don't experience the same torture that the, the, the South are experiencing. Um, but the issue isn't about the North or the South. The issue is about having a, creating a better Nigeria for every person. And I could see that based on the next video I'm about to show, to show you because the, the Northern part, women from the Northern part are actually gathering to even do their own small protest and, 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 and demanding that um, Buhari stepped down there insulting Buhari. Now, when I lived in Nigeria, um, Police brutality was something that was common. What what isn't common though is the fact that Nigerian youth are standing up against um against authority and they and they're demanding they're demanding for change. Now I had a chance to speak to a young Nigerian who um expressed to me his frustration and his fears. He refused to show his face to um hide his identity. You can't be living in fear, but actually doing nothing wrong. It's so bad because normally I think people get scared not to commit crime but this is our crime is just that we look good and we're trying to have something going on for ourselves and it's really bad so would you want to kill me because i'm successful it's really really terrible so i am really scared for my life i'm really scared for my life in this country i am not safe no nigerian youth is safe because of the whole police system and the special anti robbery squad which turns out to be the special um, the Obafemi Awolo was the um, Tafa Bale was these are legend legendary men who actually stood up against the evil of colonization. They were in their twenties and their and thirties when they actually organized or galvanized a political system to throw out to throw out the colonial masters. So what we are seeing today is the exact same strength 
the exact same strength and the masters the the leaders who are in power today can remember the 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 um the evil of colonization all of this goes to show that the issue is bigger than SARS the issue is bigger than SWAT it is bigger than corruption it is bigger than police brutality it is bigger than poor health care it is bigger than bad educational system bad road it is bigger than the mismanagement of resources it is so big at the moment that it is bursting out of the nation so the fact that nigerians are standing up and demanding for a better country is indeed hopeful it gives us courage and it makes us realize that yes we believe in our own potential we believe in the dreams of nigeria we believe in a hopeful country we believe in a country that believes in its own people nigerian youth are looking for an urgent change they are looking for a change that would happen from within that is exactly what is going on at the moment but i want to hear your opinion please do not forget to subscribe and of course comments below thank you for watching and i will see you again next time don't forget to subscribe click on the notification bell to be the first to receive any new content thank you again for watching see you next time